Hello everybody, Mr. Newland here. I'm going to try to use my iPad to make this video. Let's see how it works. I want to see if I can find the safe speed formula for a car going around a banked curve with no friction on the surface. The velocity of the car is going to be into my screen, like that, that X representing the uh, feathers on the back of an arrow flying away from me. So the car is driving in a circle, the radius is that direction, little r. The force is acting on the car. Let's, let's list them all. So we've got the weight of the car, mg down, the uh, banked curve is at some angle theta. We have the normal vector up here, like that, coming out of the surface of the road, like that. And there's no friction involved. So we, let's fix that normal vector there. There we go. We probably should break this into components. The Normally, when we've done an inclined plane problem, I've made the x direction along the path of the inclined plane, but I'm not going to do that this time. And that's because, in this case, the acceleration is that direction, so that's plus x. And what, if that's going to be plus x, since y has to be at a right angle, we might as well make it up like we're used to. And the reason that, that the acceleration is plus x to my left from this diagram is because the car is being forced to move in a circle. So the sum of the forces in the x direction for any, well, the sum of the forces in the direction that is having the centripetal acceleration, that's always going to be mv squared over r. And in this case, that's x. So what we're trying to find is the, the safe speed v so that the sum of the forces in the y direction is supposed to be zero. So there'll be no motion uh, up or down in the y direction, and the only motion is due to the road surface itself. So this safe speed formula is supposed to work in such a way that even if friction were to fail in the case of a car's tires and the road surface, you're still going to actually not move and you're not slide up or slide down. So let's list which forces we have. So I broke my normal force into x and y. And if this is theta, this is theta on my uh, normal force vector. So in the x direction, that's n sine theta. And I don't have any other forces listed in the uh, x direction. So that's it. In the y direction, I've got up uh, in cosine theta. And down, so minus, is mg. And the trick with doing these in these banked curve problems is typically to solve for normal force, which is not something you often want in a problem like this, and set the two expressions equal to x and y and see if you can't come up with an expression for the velocity or whichever thing you're looking for. In this case, we're looking for velocity. So I'm going to take the sum of the forces in the x, so the mv squared over r equals n sine theta, and I'm going to solve for normal force. So that's going to be mv squared over r sine theta equals normal force. Okay, and the sum of the forces in the y was n cosine theta minus, so that's from here, n cosine theta minus mg equals zero, so n cosine theta equals mg, so normal equals mg over cosine theta. And now I can set these two guys equal to each other. So I've got mv squared over r sine theta equals mg over cosine theta. And you could have also solved for normal here and plugged the normal here and plugged it in back there, whichever sort of algebra you really wanted to do. The masses cancel out here so that it, even though weight clearly causes the normal force, the expression, actually, as long as the, the whatever the vehicle is that's going in a circle has mass, then it has a normal force, then that is going to cause the normal force, but what that mass is actually doesn't matter. So our goal here was to solve for V, so let's do some more algebra. V squared equals uh, R times G times sine of theta over cosine of theta. So that is the same as RG times tangent of theta. So V, the safe speed that you can go if you don't have friction on an inclined plane, on a banked curve, I mean, is RG tan theta. The radius of the curve matters, the angle matters, but the mass of the car actually did not matter for a safe speed. 
You could also, at this step up here, this is v squared over r equals g times tan theta. So you can describe your g forces from that expression, or you can find the velocity you would need to go from that expression. Um, and so we'll call this guy number one and number two. And from equation number one, you could figure out what forces the passenger or driver would feel as they went around a banked curve. So what are the g-forces just from the banked curve itself? And in number two, you could figure out how fast the car needed to go, either too fast or too slow, the, the correct speed, the safe speed, so that you don't slide up or down. All right, that's one of them done.